the Quantum shoulder positioner is the first shoulder positioner to offer no lift mounting to any surgical table. This allows the operating staff to have a far more pleasant experience when setting up for shoulder cases. Other shoulder positioners require them to lift often very heavy devices and try to place them accurately over the leg section or the back section of the operating table. This is a very difficult process which has caused setup for shoulder cases to become universally dreaded by most members of the operating room staff. Note that the simple insertion of one quick release pin per side allows the quantum shoulder positioner to be securely fixed onto the side rail of the leg section of the operating table, and if so desired, the secondary clamping side rail knob can be tightened onto the side rail to provide for additional stability. The quantum positioner is able to be shifted left or right based on surgeon preference and patient size by the simple loosening of the two knobs on the front of the base tube. This is best done prior to the arrival of the patient on the shoulder positioner as it is much easier to shift the positioner left or right before the patient is on the bed. The height of the entire quantum positioner can be adjusted using this T-knob on the back of the unit. This allows the positioner to accommodate the spinal curvature of exceptionally tall patients. The critical thing to remember when adjusting the height is that the lumbar curvature of the backrest pad should be aligned with the natural spinal lumbar curvature of the patient. The floating head support is unique to the quantum positioner and should be allowed to float while the patient is being raised or lowered and then locked when the operative position is achieved. The head support can be adjusted anterior and posterior to accommodate patients with different neck curvature and especially those with kyphosis. The entire head support can be shifted anterior and posterior, or the head pad alone can be shifted anterior and posterior using the simple knobs. There are no straps to secure the head. Instead, all fixation is accomplished using the halo cradle fixation system. This means that there is no longer any struggling or fighting with straps and pads along the face which obstruct the airway. Instead, a simple rotation and sliding of the halo clamp against the forehead, just above the eyebrows of the patient, achieves complete fixation which lasts for the duration of any shoulder procedure. This eliminates the problematic critical malpositioning that often occurs with existing technology. This means the surgeon and staff no longer have to worry about the head being dislocated during a case. The neck pad should be adjusted after the patient is elevated to the operative position. Loosen the knobs on the back of the pad and adjust laterally or tilt toward or away from the patient so that there is pressure applied on the side of the neck by the pad. If the pads are not tight enough, the head or neck may shift or slip during the procedure. The wide range of settings allows the positioner to accommodate all different sizes of patients. The tube tree mounts to the knob which controls the neck pad and is easily rotated up and out of the way or down into the usable position by loosening the knob. The arm positioner is used to hold the non-operative arm both during the supine intubation, elevation, and for the duration of the shoulder procedure. It is easily installed onto the lateral supports and can be adjusted to virtually any position to accommodate any size or shape patient. Note the Velcro strap on the top of the arm holder. This helps to ensure the arm does not fall back and away while the patient is still supine. It is important to position the arm holder so that it is not applying excessive pressure to the elbow and so that it is rotated internally so as not to compress the ulnar nerve. It is important to check the position of the arm support after the patient has been elevated to the surgical sitting position. By loosening the knobs on the back of the device, the lateral pads are adjustable to accommodate any patient width. They open and close to adjust to patients as large as 600 pounds and adjust anterior posterior and inferior superior to achieve ideal placement on the patient's torso.
New disposable pads should be installed before each procedure. Included in your disposable kit are a head pad, a halo pad, an arm pad, and covers for the backrest, laterals, and neck pads. These are quickly and easily installed, and this should be done after the positioner is on the bed, before the patient is brought into the room.